Introduced by Gilbert Lewis in 1916, the Lewis diagram shows how electrons are arranged around atoms. In this video, we will show you how to draw the Lewis diagram. Also, you can test yourself with a mini quiz at the end of this video. So, how do we draw Lewis diagrams for simple molecules? Step 1. Find the total number of valence electrons in the molecule. In the periodic table, atoms are arranged based on the group number. Group 1 has one valence electron. Group 2 has two valence electrons. Groups 3 to 12, which are the transition metals, we will skip them for now. Group 13 has three valence electrons. Group 14 has four valence electrons. Well, you get the idea. Finally, group 18 will have eight valence electrons, satisfying the octet rule. The only exception to this rule is helium. Helium has only two valence electrons. If you want to know more about the octet rule, please watch my previous video. I'll post a link below. Now, let's draw the Lewis diagram of the nitrate ion as an example. Nitrogen in group 15 has five valence electrons. Oxygen in group 16 has six valence electrons. Any charge in the molecule should be considered as well. Since there is a negative charge, we will add one. The nitrate ion has 24 valence electrons. Step two, determine the central atom. The central atom will be the one that can make the most bonds or the least electronegative atom. Let's look at the periodic table one more time. Electronegativity increases moving up a group and moving from the left to the right across the period. Nitrogen is the central atom in this case. Place other atoms around the central atom. Step 3. Draw a skeletal structure for the molecule using only single bonds. Step 4. Place the remaining valence electrons for the outer atoms so that their octet is complete. Remember, each dot represents an electron and each line represents two electrons. So far, we have used six valence electrons to make the skeletal structure. Use the remaining 18 electrons to complete the octets on the oxygen atoms. Step 5. Complete the octet on the central atom. If you have run out of electrons, use lone pairs on the outer atoms to form multiple bonds. Step 6. Determine the formal charges for all of the atoms. Sometimes, an atom in the Lewis diagram has a formal charge. It happens when the number of electrons in the Lewis diagram is different from its typical valence number. The formal charge of an atom is calculated by the number of valence electrons minus the number of dots minus the number of lines. Using this formula, the formal charges for the nitrate ion can be calculated. Commonly, only the net charge on the ion is shown in the Lewis diagram. Please note that there are exceptions to this octet rule. Hydrogen and helium follow the duet rule, which says their valence shell is full with two electrons. Also, the octet can be expanded beyond eight electrons, only for atoms below the second row of the periodic table. Now, are you ready to take a mini quiz? Action. Question 1. Draw the Lewis diagram of H2O. H2O has 8 valence electrons. Oxygen is the central atom with 2 lone pairs of electrons. Question 2. Draw the Lewis diagram of CCl4. CCl4 has 32 valence electrons. Carbon is the central atom. Question 3. 
draw the Lewis diagram of CCl2O. CCl2O has 24 valence electrons. Carbon is the central atom double bonded to oxygen. Question 4. Draw the Lewis diagram of NH3. NH3 has 8 valence electrons. Nitrogen is the central atom with one lone pair of electrons. Finally, question 5. Draw the Lewis diagram of O2. O2 has 12 valence electrons. To satisfy the octet rule, a double bond is formed between two oxygens. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.